So Kevin decided right here at the end of the day to bust a hose. And it's a good one too, I mean. It's this one right here. Under that cover right there where it flexes at. It runs back up, connects right there. So we're about to uh, snatch it off real quick here. Uh, I got my glove. That's uh, on these machines here, boy, you bust certain ones like that one right there. And you gotta get her shut down. Look how it mitigated all that oil, which is fine because it's just a spray. Ain't gonna hurt a thing. It's better to be done like that than in a puddle or something. So let's get at it. Right there, on an impact. All right, so this one right here is too tight against the other line, so I'm gonna break it with a hammer and a chisel. and bring that hammer has got that better handle on it.
So I'm hoping that all the oil was going to come out of it, out of it now. I'm going to sit y'all over here where y'all can kind of watch where it be out of the way. I'm going to put y'all on this track. Right here. Y'all be a little ways from us, so that'll be a good thing.
he would uh, take him down here, Tim, and we could just cut cut this off and just let Chad spin on what he's got, and we'll just leave it on that end, because that's what I've done with these other ones. There's no sense in it going up this uh -huh. high like this. There ain't nothing up here that'll skin nothing up. Enough. Yeah, You can tighten that thing tighter like that than you can with a wrench. So a lot of times that's what we'll do when they're in there tight against some other lines like that. That's good, kid. Yeah. Don't hit it no more. It's good. And then we'll use the crow switch. Let's just snug this other end because we we'll might pick it up and, 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 and adjust it. Flex and okay. Then, and then we'll, uh, you reckon you got enough oil to pick it up? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it didn't. I mean, it blew it out a pretty good bit, but it ain't, it, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Okay. Just take the, like I said, just barely bump it there and then we'll, we'll make some real adjustments to it. I'll pour three or four gallons in there right fast too. Go ahead and do that. A lot easier to do it with one of them than it is fight with a wrench or a hammer and chisel. Just make sure you get some good crow's foot because when you put them in the impact, it's tough on them. That's a, uh, that's a snap on crow's foot right there. They're about the only ones that'll hold up to that impact. All right, just cranked it up. He's gonna try to move it here right quick. He's gonna come at me. Get right in the middle here. We're gonna have to adjust that line a little bit because it. He don't like them sitting funky because they're one way. He likes them to hang straight when it's hanging like that. Come on, man. I don't want to climb up there on that thing, dude. Come on now. At least let it down. Please. Boy, that about wore out right there, ain't it? Yeah, that swivel was a hat of tail or whatever there. That swivel pretty much seen this better days. That small line on the bottom right there, it that's ain't gonna my, be. That's my electrical, that's my Is it? wire right there. The next one's finna go with this inch and a quarter, and I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. An inch and a quarter don't, don't have much life left in the there. 
At least it's not 975 degrees right now. It makes it fairly nice out here. We got a pretty good sweat going on. Yeah, but, weird, but it ain't like it, it <laughs> normally is. Alright, uh, hand, hand me that impact. Let me go ahead and hammer it one more okay. time. Right. <laughs> you better pray I'm real when you go to take that thing off again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that high torque does not play. Before I climb back down, go there and get me. It's going to be above that, that, that little toe box. Give me four of them heads.